Hey, watch where you're going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of learning and all for nothing. Easy money. I just have to get it right. Easy enough. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. I can't stand months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Looking at all the dead people. Well, it says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Yeah, those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank. Their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. 
Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the Central Loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... 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 Craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here. Take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Find something you like in the draw. Aiden, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? <laughs> Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. Was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the Metro Technical Station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the Central Loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from Dark Zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. <clears throat> huh? Hakon, there's a creature I haven't seen before. 
What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. In the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
could. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Damn. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. 
And you came here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm. Well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But Command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. God, you there? Aiden, buddy. Good, you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. Otherwise, there will be a kill you. Meet me outside. Investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. No cannabis art at any time. No, just dead. If everyone is so innocent. What did they want from you? Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay. Let's keep in touch. Not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. 
got it. You know when he'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. B wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Shouldn't you be yeah, sure. Uh, Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like you be. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. God. He's not here. Oh, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. Yeah. See that GRE building? Let's go. He's climbing to the oh, roof. Yeah. Can't I just want to talk! <laughs> don't hurt me! I don't know anything! About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Well, stop fucking around. Tell me, or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. 
But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, Hakon. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. Throw some barracks there. The army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass hoozy what's it over? Are you nuts? The Hoosie Whatsit's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. 500? Are you crazy? Besides, why do you need so much money? What planet are you from? We don't have water. And water costs money. Maya, it's dangerous. Do you want the PK to arrest you? Give it to me now. All right. Nobody wanted to buy him anyway. Cut myself on him, too. Back on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Corporal Wilczek noticed you already, which is not good news. Ah, oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aider, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. 
The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Citizen, welcome to Old Villador's PK. Nathan, still alive? You're worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. I wish bizarre folks would talk to us more. This feud is silly. We all want. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring your own so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <clears throat> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? 
Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Find something you like in the bazaar? Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craftmasters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. God damn PKs. Whoever killed him must have been very strong. No. Why would you even say something? Back in the day, I had a huge and massive. Well, and a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, uh, 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 Sophie's brother, huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... A uh, uh, hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. No need to be shy. I won't give you to the butcher goat in no way. And? Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. 
No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <sighs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. <laughs>